Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another blustery episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we found a new portion of the castle, and we are awfully close to that ice block. Destroying it reveals a shortcut that is going to be useful. Um, can we destroy these? Yes, we can. Ba, 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 ba. Why do I? Well, there's a treasure chest over there. Probably need it. Okay. Step one. Step two. So we've got this. This is going to be a small key, probably. Because that's, yep, that is exactly what it is. So. Where does this door lead? Haven't been here, so let's continue on. Let's continue on. Oh, we're back here. Have I missed something? I don't remember. <laughs> It would help if I use the right controls. Okay, so what we want to do is beat our heads against the metal grates. No, no, not really. Is head up back this way. Head up back this way. Grammar. I am destroying things for fun now. I... Yep. I was hoping that uh, they wouldn't be back. Some enemies do respawn if you go far enough away, but eh, whatever. So now we can unlock this door and continue on our merry way. There's the hand. You can reach me. Uh, that's not good. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. I just destroyed furniture. I didn't know I could do that. I knew there were lots of interesting. Oh, hello. Interesting destructible objects in the game, but I can't remember every single one. Oh, look. Ordon Goats. And it looks like it has a goofy grin. Okay, then. Um... Is that...? Oh, right. That is, uh... Some place that we have been and will obviously be returning to because there are things on that we have left undone. This is what I remembered we needed to do, is get that right there. Anyway, we head over here, and we launch this clear over there, because it makes a ton of sense. We should be able to climb up there. Yeah, we can do that. So we have a little bit more destruction to participate in. Oh good, that's already down. I was expecting it not to be. Mm. Why do I keep doing that? Jeez. So now we're on this center platform where we saw the cannon before. And thankfully those guys can't reach you anymore. Wait, are you going to have... Good, we can get back up here if we fall. Come on, come on. So we grab this, and we cause much mayhem and destruction. Mwahahaha. Namely, that guy over there. So, we turn to aim. There we 
go. And launch the bomb. Boom. We avoided the wolves. Good. Now... <laughs> I went... Wait, 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 wait. There is a treasure chest in here. Wasting much time. Okay, so the treasure chest should be... Right here. So now we're done with this room and do not need to return. Because it had a whole 20 rupees to add to our count of 1,000, bringing us to a grand total of 1,000 rupees. Did not change. I cannot believe I made that. Oh, hello. You can't follow me in here, so ha ha ha. I was not expecting the wolves to appear suddenly like that when they didn't appear before. Hmm. Okay. Curious. Okay. That door says you're supposed to go here, so let's ignore it for a moment. Ah, okay. This is where the uh, key that we are being sent to find will lead. So, we are obviously getting close. If we can actually walk up to there now. Walk up to there? That didn't sound right. Hmm. Hmm. Grammar. Okay, so maybe she hasn't misled us this time. I mean, I mean, it's, it's kind of looking like there's going to be a boss in here, so... Hello. Well, that doesn't seem like much of... Kind of the interesting thing is, is the uh, ball and chain can act as a shield. Uh, really? I said can. That doesn't mean that it always will. No, lock on. Is that all of them? No, because it has not on... Oh. No, it just took an extra second. Okay. So, this has got to be the boss key. After all, we just had to fight tooth and nail for it. Oh, finally, it's time to get the bedroom key. Phew, we finally found the key. That sure took a while, but that mirror shard is as good as ours. Yep, so now we have the bedroom key where Yeto and Yeti keep the mirror shard. And Oh, hi. Oh, you safe, uh. I drink husband's soup. Feel much better, uh. So I came to find you. You found key, uh. Good, good. Bedroom right above us. I take you there, uh. I cannot remember if getting too far ahead of her will elicit anything, but she's very slow, and I would have to end this episode early if we did have to wait for her. So let's climb this because it's appropriate. Look out o over the ruins. Eh, you know, put some building tiles. Eh, add walls. You know, it's, it's a fixer-upper. And now we can enter the bedroom. And how did she get behind us so quickly? She warped behind us. Thank you. You come inside.
And he's like, eh, okay. Please. This way, uh. Oh, well, there, there's the shard hanging from the wall. Oh, good, we found it. It's just right there. Nothing to worry about. Here, mirror. You look at it, uh. Ah, so pretty. Pretty. Ah, so pretty. Uh, yet Yeto? Pretty, pretty mirror. Lovely. Yet yet Yeto, are, are you, are you, um, you know... Well, that was creepy. Not take mirror! And remember something that I pointed out earlier. You will see what I meant now. Well, not right now. Now, a lot of people did find that incredibly unnerving and even scary the first time they played it, I'm sure. I'm weird. I don't find things scary very easily. And we have Blizzette. Blizzetta. Who, as we have learned, holy cow, I was not expecting it to be that quick. Oh, 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 hello, hello. I am one of those weird people. I actually did not find that scene scary. Creepy, yes, I will acknowledge that it is... Oh, hello. I do acknowledge that it is creepy. Let's get this hard, since I am running a little lower than I like to be. Wow, that was awesome. And that is phase one down. But as we have learned from the previous two bosses, there are two phases. Yeto, what are you doing? I don't want to hurt you. Get, get down from there. Oh, well. Isn't that... Isn't that nice? This is what I meant by keep that... Oh, hello. No, do not want ball chain out. By keep that room in mind, because you will see where you need to go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slowing down way too much. Uh, you... Wait. Uh... I messed up there. You can see where the shards are going to crash. I am not taking my own advice. You can, ah. you can see where the shards are going to land, and you can see your escape route by paying attention, which I am not doing. <laughs> okay. I can't remember. I. Oh wow! I thought. I thought all of them had, I uh, uh, did it. I thought all of them had landed. There we go. Doing a little bit better. Okay. The best thing to do is to keep moving until all the shards have landed and then try wow. Try to destroy some of them. Because they will drop hearts, and they will give you safe places. No, 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 no. Yes, okay, got that. And when you destroy shards, there's a safe spot for you to kind of stay. I really do enjoy this boss fight. <laughs> it's, it's... It shows the, the, like, the corrupting power of the mirrors and the corrupting power of Zant. Um... Or the corrupting powers of Zan. Which would it be? I think it would be the mirror. Well, we have two mirror shards now. Two more left, Link.
Still, I feel bad about the way we treated that girl. To think the Mayor of Twilight has the power to change people like that. This world, all worlds, can be cruel. Let's hurry up and collect the rest of those pieces, Link. We have to, before more innocent creatures have to endure the suffering this poor girl did. Let's go search for the two that remain. But of course, yet to, yet Yeti has to come see his girlfriend. Wife. Something. Wife. Uh, uh, what wrong with me? Very strange, you just dreaming, uh. Yeto, mirror you gave. Wait, did I get the names of these people wrong? I thought it was Yeti and Yeto. Forget Yeta and Yeto. Wow, I... I have been calling them the incorrect name for three episodes. No, look into eyes of Yeto. The creepy, singular glare. Look in re reflection of Yeto's eyes. Their true beauty. Who need mirror? My love, uh... <laughs> and a completely useless heart. <laughs> I, I, this, this scene, this scene is worth this dungeon. This scene is worth this dungeon. Completely useless heart be hearts, because you're about to get a heart container, which fully replenishes your heart. I think you can come back here and talk to them again and more hearts will drop, but... Yeah, kind of pointless. Um, in fear of there being a story bit, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.